Okay, we now continue mesh menu and in a cut. Oops. In a cut, I want to explain loop and pass cut. It's very interesting. I insert a box and then in insert a sphere here. Make a some subdivision on them. And here you can scale it up. Select both of them and make them both editable and go into the polygon mode. It's automatically go there. And now the loop pass selection will be active. If you select it, as you can see, a uh, interesting uh, display tool appear here. As you can see, you can uh, select, uh, add a loop to your selection. As you can see, we have a lots of sitting here. We have a lot of sitting here that we can go one by one by these tabs. The option, as you can see, we have two modes. The simple mode is loop. If you click, you can add a loop here, but it, it does not finish. You can interactively click and drag and change that loop direction. Okay, as you can see, you can simply click and drag it. If you want to equal, space between this and this part you can say click on this you can add your loop selection or you can uh, subtract it's very easy and the mode is loop and the other mode is pass okay when you want to okay you can uh, escape For example, I go to this select mode. In edge mode, I select some uh, some polygons like this. And when you select them, when you select them, when you select a loop pass, uh, the main mode is a pass. As you can see, if you go here, it's uh, instead of the loop, it's going create a pass edge on this uh, polygon that you select. This is a pass mode. If you select a loop mode, it does not looping there for you. Okay, this is a pass mode and loop. Another offset is uh, proportional or edge distance. For example, going to the select and you can uh, select this point or select it or slide it if you want. You can like right click, I will explain it. Uh, yeah, you can slide it in this direction, this point. Slide, it's very simple. That's it. I want to make a different distance between here. And loop and pass, and as you can see, if you go in here, it's proportionally uh, changing the pass by something like this, okay? But if you select the edge distance, it's try to keep the, for example, when you reach here, it's trying to keep the straight line, not proportional, depend on the this edge and the this edge, for example. Okay, as you can see, you can change it. <clears throat> okay, this is a loop. If you uh, select loop and the offset, as you can see, this is an offset, this is slider, and the distance will be changed, both of them here. You can change them by this. If you want, you can add a number of the cut here, simply add, or you can uh, delete them. It's interactively, if you, the loop method is when you click on it, it's not, everything is not done, and you can go back and change it. Restrict to selection means if you, for example, go to the edge mode and, for example, in this tool here, if you select a polygon, you can just restrict to the depth. As you can see, if you click a loop, it's just a strict cut edge to that polygon that you selected. After the selection, uh, uh, doing cut, you can select that cut. And uh, I explained it before in the <clears throat> plane cut, the connect 
cut edge it's like this connect the edges together but if you turn it off it just uh, create a point on the edges and now we're going to the interaction uh, tab you reuse cut it does mean like this for example we have a symmetrical complex model that we insert that we cut the model in this method and we want to you reuse it we want to reuse it to the other side because it's exactly and you can you reuse it in any time that you want if you active the reuse cuts <clears throat> bidirectional cut it means like that uh, as you can see if you cut here if you inactive them for example here as you can see if you inactive th that you can just if you click most up and down you can just make a loop to up and down but if you by directional cut it means both sides you can do it and of course you can it's a loop so for up in and down in this direction you can see this by directional cut um, mode another interesting tool uh, sitting is the symmetrical cut that you can see it here if you cut it here as you can see it symmetrically go other side any direction that you want you can add it and here just click and you can add any cut that you want here this is symmetrical if you want it and toggle direction the toggle direction is for toggling the direction of the enabling the cuts You have to exit the tools and I think it's nice okay let's go into the model mode we have to exit the tools and stop uh, cut at the end gun for example I create the end gun here for example a bit deleting that point oops no that point we can dissolve some edges here not delete okay we can just melt that here we have end gone and if you select the loop as you can see it's stop at the end gone in this direction but as you can see if you uh, not active it's past the end gun. okay stop at the end gun. and a stop cut at the pole these uh, points are the poles that the point that more than two or three edge um, will be connected to that those are poles stop at it interesting thing sitting here the quantize uh, let's see what happens the pass if you go into the pass loop yeah if you're going to the edge distance in the interaction the toggle this uh, toggle direction now is active and as you can see if you toggle it your mouse is up but the selection is down toggle selection okay you can toggle the direction of your selection there Go into the proportional again the quantize uh, segment you can hold and shift as you can see it's quantizing it's divided as you can see here it's divided this part to the four even distance here you can hold and shift or you can add a quantize it's automatically quantized to the tree or any point that you want as you can see the point created here the for example 20 uh, section that are exactly the even distance between the rod and you can quantize it and here you can see the quantize oops we have for example three point as you can see it's cut to the three point and you can snap to quantize it or you can hold and shift interesting thing is the loop range for example i don't want to go exactly it's because of bi-directional i don't want to exactly hold direction you can use a range for example one uh, section one section b 
before and one section after or two section or four section as you can see you can make a range for your selection another interesting part is uh, shaping you can add a shape to that for example i insert a, <coughs> a cut here as you can see and i want to preserve this curvature okay you can activate it as you can see this curvature is preserved but if you inactive that as you can see it's cut exactly the topology of the object if you want to preserve this curvature from here you can add this or this curvature and you can toggle the as you can see the curvature of the loop that you uh, created <clears throat> another interesting thing is you can create a profile on this as you can see you can add a exactly profile like this on your uh, edge selection here and because of the lowest segment you cannot see this exactly you can change the depths interesting as you can see you can add make any profile here for your uh, selection a loop selection if we have a lot of segments you can see that okay this is a loop and pass selection i explain all of its settings hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release